What's going on guys? Welcome back to Luke Explores. Today we're checking out one of the most remote abandoned places I've ever been to. It's an abandoned tree house in the middle of the woods. It's been here for over 10 years. Let's go explore it. Come on. that no amount of technology or inventions is going to make the world any better as long as people are willing to sell out their morality and ethics for a buck. In this episode, I'm exploring an off-grid house abandoned in the middle of the woods for over a decade. But this isn't just any abandoned house, not by any stretch of the imagination. Those words that you heard just a few moments ago were from Jamie Mansell himself, a master creator who specializes in building incredible inventions and living off-grid in the middle of nowhere. Outfitted with a multi-story layout consisting of a massive slide and the entire third floor made into a working trampoline, this remote location is like no other abandoned place I've ever explored. Join me as I step back into Jamie's shoes and explore his homemade treehouse home for myself. Let's explore and have some fun while we're at it. Guys, so this looks like something completely out of The Hobbit. I make that reference a lot, but I think this is extremely fitting. This was Jamie's old hot tub that he just built right here into a, well, it looks like a giant rock. Let's go check it out. Well, this was his hot tub. Looks like the water was fed through a little filtration system right here. It still has a pump. This almost looks like one of those modern day tubs where that would be the hot tub and that's a pool. You can see, for whatever reason, it's blocked off here, but this is actually kind of deep. I can feel this pole going at least five or six feet into the water. Guys, so right now I'm standing next to what was Jamie's workshop. It's the remains of an old airplane hangar. It's the one part of this entire place that he did not build himself. And ironically, it's in the worst condition. This gives us a little bit better of a look at his actual workshop. And there's a whole bunch of tools and wiring down there uh, from baby toys that he actually developed. And he had some of his products stolen that were created right in this little hangar. So this is giving us a much better perspective at how deep this hangar slash workshop actually is. You can see it literally backs all the way up to the rock and the house is at the top of it. Guys, so this bike right here was actually Jamie's generator. He used this to power the entire place, and uh, up until a year or two ago, the lights actually turned on if you were to sit here and spin those pedals for long enough. But fortunately, all these wires have been cut, so it doesn't work anymore. But this was literally a generator. He has a guest book here, which it looks like dozens of people 
have signed over time. Just put my name in there. And probably what was his bed? Which is just more kind of like a couch. Jamie was just an incredible person. I keep referencing him. He's obviously the person that hand built this entire place. But if there's one criticism I have, it's that he couldn't install an outdoor bathroom because you are using the bathroom right next to where you're cooking your food. And that, Jamie, that is unsanitary. So Jamie had a two year old. And I'm going to assume that this is probably the little baby crate that um, the child was raised in, kept right next to the toilet. There's a little kitchen over here with this portable grill and a bunch of food, vegetable beef and tomato soup if anyone's hungry. Guys, I found this really cool slide. Let's see where it goes. This is an incredible clip right here. <laughs> Close the hatch! Close the hatch! Close the hatch. Coming down this hatch is way more difficult than coming up. You're gonna do it. Now that I'm here, it looks so bad. You're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> 